Well, I like the idea about a guy uh, who's completely down and out, um, who wants to be a writer, wants to be an artist, and uh, wants to be great, and it's just not happening for him at all. He's a complete and utter failure. And then he you know, stumbles upon this drug that gives him a second chance, that allows him really to be the, the perfect version of himself. There's like a different language for you know his different states of mind. When he's regular Eddie, it looks one way. It's kind of a grittier, handheld feel. And when he's on the drug, it has this kind of luminous glow to it. It's colorful, and um, it just has an intensity to it that was lacking before and lacking in his life. And then when he comes on the drug, it's a whole other thing, you know, of him. Um, kind of how he you know processes information and takes it on and so I just wanted to do all that in a in a real way so that you felt like god that's what it must feel like to kind of have that inspiration or have that revelation um, so I just did a lot of research uh, and and just experimented shot things myself drew things and slowly developed a kind of a, a vocabulary of, um, you know, of visual effects that I really hadn't seen too much before, but that I, but they also felt like, um, you know, represented his, his sense of, you know, how he saw the world. I mean, Bradley can like, you know, that, that's what's so great about him. He can do the vulnerability of, of the guy that's the failure, the loser. And then when he's on the drug, he can just you know, he's so nimble verbally. He can just speak circles around you and speak, you know, when he's off the drug, he's all like, um, and but, and, you know, like, you know, and when he's on the drug, they're just these steady streams of, you know, perfectly uh, structured sentences and paragraphs. Could he do it on take one? Pretty much. He's pretty amazing. I mean, Bradley, you know, Bradley is Bradley, seems like a guy that's on NZT himself. So when he steps into that role, he can play a loser or he can play a guy that's incredibly intense and brilliant and a guy that can kind of just, you know, walk circles around you. I don't know what my next, I'm juggling a bunch of different things. I've, I have screenplays that I've written that were, you know, that were waiting to kind of go now after this film finished. And, um, but I'm also being offered some other things. And so it's a, it's a funny time in the film business and figuring out what your, what your next project is, is, um, you know, a very delicate proposition because it's hard to get a movie out there made and seen right now. And so it's a, you know, it's like a very careful, you know, take careful consideration. So juggling different things.